We've added a really neat tool to this build of the software. In a previous um, update, we gave you the ability to add presets to your digitizing tools, like your run stitch, your satin stitch, and all of these up at the top. There's a little arrow next to it. It allows you to create the settings you want for like a running stitch and be able to apply that as you digitize it. But you had to use one of the digitizing tools, so you had to create something from scratch. Well, in this update, what we've done is we've added the same preset um, technology into our convert to icons. And the convert to icons are those icons located at the bottom of the screen. And so now you can set up your own presets for those. So if you have any artwork or any other design, and you have an object that you want to convert to a specific setting, you can now do that. And I'm just going to bring up a simple shape here just to kind of show you what we're talking about. So right here I have a piece of artwork and I've already come in and made a few presets for the software and a standard um, or before this update, if you clicked on the run, it would convert that to a running stitch and it's pretty straightforward um, it works great but with the presets for this now I've come in and set up a number of things because sometimes I know that I want to use a three millimeter long stitch length or a four millimeter long stitch length and I can set these up ahead of time so that once I have a piece of like artwork like let me go back to um, let me undo this so you can see it's back at artwork. With it selected, I can come in here and I already have this preset for three millimeter plus a lock. So if I click on that, notice that it changes that to a run stitch and it has a three millimeter long stitch length. So let me show you what this looks like if you um, wanted to create your own. So let's say that you like to utilize bean stitches but you like the really thick bean stitches like a five or a seven ply bean stitch all you have to do is have a object selected that's in a running stitch and you set it up the way that you want it so I'm because I want a bean stitch I'm gonna go to the properties box and I'm gonna select bean from the type drop down and let's say that I want it to be a seven ply I want it to be a really thick meaning it'll go over the same area seven times before continuing on and let's say that I wanted that to be like a four millimeter long stitch length because I don't want it to be too short because it's going to go over the top of itself seven times let me go ahead and hit apply and let's say that on this one I do want to have a tie-in and tie-off that just helps um, if your machine's going to trim before or after trim and it just is nice to have and so we have this set up we have our seven ply bean and let's say we want to save this as a preset because we like to use this a lot so I just come down to my convert to run icon and I hit the little arrow next to it and I go to save preset and when I go to save preset it's gonna bring up this box where I can type in the name um, for this setting and so I'm using a bean at seven ply with a four millimeter stitch length. So I'm gonna say seven ply bean, and then I'll put 4.0 millimeters. That would let me know exactly what it is. Um, so I wouldn't forget, let me go ahead and hit okay. And it tells me the preset was saved successfully. So let me go ahead and hit okay. And let's go ahead and select this and convert it back to artwork. It, I don't even have to do that. I can keep it here just to show you. Um, but I'm going to go to artwork just so you can see that there's no run stitch applied to it. Let me hit the drop down arrow for, for convert to and notice that that setting is now here. Seven ply bean four millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and you'll notice that it applied that bean stitch to the object and if I select it, you'll see that it is a seven ply bean stitch with a four millimeter long stitch length. If we go to the commands, it applied a basic tie in and tie off, just how I set it up. Now this works with all the different tools and 
that are convert to so you can set up um, motifs if there's a favorite motif you like you can set that up and save it as a preset a steel stitch if you like certain settings anything here fill stitches applique it doesn't matter what it is you just create it and then you come down and you hit the save preset you just need to make sure that if you're working with the satin stitch you will go to the satin stitch um, preset and save it there but it's a really really handy feature it saves a lot of time I've used it quite a bit since um, we got the ability to do it I've set up a number of presets that um, go along with the settings I use a lot so it's really handy I hope you enjoy it and we look forward to getting feedback from you on it